so um guys so the first part we just finished uh dealing with capital jesus and you know getting to understand him and the growth of his brand and the fire is coming and his, his beautiful family the second bit now we will be having both kabi and mili on the same set how cool is that mili say hi, mili say hi, hi to the people man hi guys how you doing We hope you do well. Enjoy the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Okay. Hi guys, so, hope you're doing well. See, this is the Wajiza. Okay, oh, let's do it. No, watch it once and after you join. Okay, okay this is how it goes, love. Hi yeah. guys. Praise Jesus. Hope you're doing well. It's the Wajiza family. Jesus family yeah. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that man. I really love that man. So yeah. thanks yeah. thanks guys for just creating time just to you know to have this conversation on this podcast. Karibuni sana. Asante. Sisi ndio wapi bibi yangu na kuanga ndoweza. Look at that queen. Hai, huyu hakuna mtu ashawa hivi sana kabi. Hapo niweza kabi. You have made many mistakes in life, but this was not one of them. This you got it right. Nice one, man. Mimi how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, hi. Hi, good morning. The baby is doing great. Uh-huh. He just turned 6 months. Mm-hmm. He's already feeding like yeah. he's winning. Yeah. So to to your point here, could try to introduce new foods. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, niliona online wives wana complain that husbands wana kula sana. Kabia kipita hivi mkate sio simili akipita hivi bacon, akipita hivi nyama. Aha. Mseme. You see, I thought we were yeah. shopping for like at least in a day designer you just want to shop more shopping than normal. Yeah. So I thought we would shop for two months it's the normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, since I've tried it will go all the way to you know at least the second month. anadhania <laughs> But it's so nice. But they during this period I'm really respecting every person out there who has a family. Even if you just have one child and you're feeding one mouth more than yours. Mazi, yeah. I'm so much respect for you and salute to you all of you guys. Jikiwa mimi mwenyewe natipeleka hasara. Unajua mimi mwenyewe mu hapulala. Ndio niji stop from kukula. Jikila saa mazi. Yaani nina ninamaliza kila kitu huko. Anyway. Yeah. So um When I had you guys on set I wanted us to talk about uh, a marriage thing and the conversations in our times you know and the misconceptions the myths that are out there the truths the facts you know uh, and it's so beautiful that we are getting to hear it from a, a very beautiful and a very happy couple like you guys so let's start with let's start with where it actually starts um, the ceremony uh because one of the things we got to discuss na kabi and he opened my eyes to see it is he told he, when we were sharing earlier ali niambia that the reason why guys organize the how first of all how important are the white are the wedding ceremonies like the event not in their uh, not not the come stay not the one for ag the the event itself how important is it Oh yeah so I'm waiting for Mili to talk Oh Mili I can be your girl We're doing the opening sisi tumeongea hapa Eh sisi tumeongea sana But I think she wants to understand how I do it So yes. anyway yeah. I think for me the ceremony is really important Yeah but more so the idea of people coming together in front of witnesses is what matters so whether you decide to do the ceremony at the ag's place where you have four four family members or two witnesses yes. and you get you go home with a certificate and probably you post a picture on facebook that you know now you're married yeah. i think that's also a way to do it but yeah. i really respect also the people who do it in terms of a ceremony where they invite the community yeah. so that the community can be part of the process mi naona nga ile time jesus alikuwa crucified kungekuwa hakuna hawa si walikuwa wana watch labda sahi atungekuwa tuna believe wow witness yeah 
Witnesses. But witnesses are the ones that carry the story of Jesus forward. The, the disciples are the ones that carry the story of Jesus forward. Tukajua enyewe kama Paul aliona kama huyu alisema eh so we are sure that you know this happened. Yeah. So even for marriage I believe that there should be witnesses and it is important that you have as many as you can yeah. but also if you have two or three then that's okay. Yeah yes. and also please yes. yes. it's very important cuz of um you know you're bringing your marriage before God and you just want God to bless it. Yeah. So I think that reason why okay for me I'd advise if you go to the AG is okay but you yeah. also need to do like uh, maybe mshikanishwe na facilitator ama you have yeah. someone who has an authority um, a spiritual authority yeah. over you or yeah. on there because mm-hmm. I feel like weddings ni idea ya God. You know, yes. Yeah. The certificate is a government thing. Mm-hmm. That's why people go to the AG. So that's you know, you can recognize the government. Mm-hmm. But you also need to go before God and mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. just give your marriage to God. And that's yes. why I think people also do like white weddings, they do weddings in church. Yeah. And when it, when it's said doing weddings in church, you don't have to achieve it or to wedding. Ama it's it's not about that. You can even be just you, your pastor, my yes. Shanisha, and maybe a few family members. I know in our church there's a time a couple did a wedding during a service. Sunday yeah. service. Yeah, Sunday wow. service. Like the way you see after after yeah. Nathan, the announcements. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After announcements, Pasi came, a Shanisha, and then you continued with service. So it can yeah. be that simple. So it doesn't have to be complicated. So how it let me yeah. just let me narrate that story. Yes, yes, tell us. That. So they had like a, a, a deco kidogo, just the normal service but deco kidogo and then the salmon was in was uh, coiled to fit the ceremony. So it was a salmon that would have been preached in a wedding, in a normal oh wedding. Yeah. 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 So and then they had the deco kidogo and then wazazi walikuwa wazazi wao their family members. Mm-hmm. So like their family members came in a little bit earlier and then they were called you know there is like kaka who is walking giving this walking yeah. down the aisle yeah. who is giving this lady to this you know and it was just like a ceremony in a wedding only that free witnesses in the whole <laughs> congregation yeah. they did not need to be fed you yeah. understand yeah. <laughs> so kila mtu alikuwa akuje tu atokeleze and they went home married and now they are happily married i think yeah. now it's 3 years yeah. wow. and and they have yeah. a child yeah. and you know it's it's beautiful yeah. So, so it doesn't necessarily need for you to have you know uh that the other kind of it is more to me do zako fanye setup tofauti it can be on a sunday yeah. mm-hmm. then, then where does the pressure come from because like like i think you see where i saw the news that a couple had committed suicide both of them because wow. they had gone into so much debt after 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 after, after their wedding so the wow. pressure you took out ngona wasi ujipatia pressure you know like you know, it has to be it's a garden wedding you know there is a theme yeah. to it it's a destination wedding you know exactly. where, 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 where people putting themselves under so much pressure yet also simple is beautiful and simple is nice i mean you don't have to go all out uko huko unapigiwa na msi wanja he msi wanja he amesema akuji watu wakule mchele na soda until at we deposit yake yote <laughs> I think one yes. of the things that makes people want to your pressure I think there's a misconception about why people do weddings. Some people want to do weddings to show off yes. or maybe to have the biggest wedding of the year, the most expensive wedding, I get. Yeah. And then also maybe the people we look up to and they, you know, they make us feel like this is how yeah. we should do our wedding. People have not been given options. They've been not, they've not been told you can actually do a wedding just you and your parents. Mm-hmm. You don't need wow. to call a whole crowd, yeah? yeah. You don't have to do a garden wedding. You don't have to do uh, a destination wedding. You can do a wedding from your back at your gar- uh, you know yeah, yeah. back yeah. 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 At your backyard, yeah. But I'm a you don't have to I'm at your balcony. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then and then yeah. my neighbor who go go balcony then you my witness. Yes, you come lockdown. Yes, you come lockdown special. So I, like the, I think the mis- misconception yeah. in your say one of our to change and then I think people should be informed there are, you know many ways to do a wedding like there are hundred bob yeah. wedding yeah, yeah. that mm-hmm. thing inspired so many people the church the yeah. Sunday service yeah. Yeah. yeah and it was still recognized as a wedding mm-hmm. you see so amazing. it's yeah I think people just need to you know, chill out oh, man. chill out man I'm, I'm just yeah guys guys just need to go something simple something small yeah. i mean it's yeah. just yeah. it's just the officiating of 
just to make your whole marriage and wedding official. Do no, you know? Don't kill yourself. Yes, mm -hmm. please. Yeah. Do you know to do a wedding you don't even need a ring? You don't need a ring. You don't need a ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, million yeah. 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 million of money. 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 Yeah. Utanza kusema hizo manguo na hizo marings na vitu. No, those are not the ones. You don't even need the gown. You don't need the gown, yeah. you don't need the suit. Wow. Yani as long as you are willing mko yeah. and sasa mna make official yeah. that is what is most important. Yeah. So kabla uende kwa gown, kwa ring, yeah. mimi nakwambia yeah. ukienda tu hata kama sign unataka hadi ufunge kamba kwa kidole ama kwa mkono ama mseme tu sign yenyewe ya kuonyesha mkomani. No, whatever you decide. Yeah. That's that's your choice. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's very beautiful. You know, I know I know us will have we might have a challenge because Wanjiru is a pastor's kid. I'm a pastor's Ooh. kid. Like sasa ni kwa hiyo ni kama crusade. Itakuwa kama conference. <laughs> Okay, like, I think. Uh -huh. mm, sorry, sorry. Yes. Um, I think. Yes. Weddings is a community. Like when you do a wedding most of the time, it's okay about the two of you, but also about the community. Yeah. yeah. Because you see, Fiona, you consider so much when it comes. Because maybe if you wanted to do a wedding in London, people like. What yeah. about my aunties? They won't be able to get there. Una get? Yeah. So you might end up sacrificing some things because of the community. So I feel like, because yes. uh, wedding near community, I yeah. think they should actually take part, like a very big role in planning the wedding. Very good yeah. point. Very, very mm -hmm. good point. So so it's it's also not wrong for guys to ask for funds from people. No. At all. Not at all. Yeah, not at all. My, Unless you have excess, excess money and even still, yeah. Yeah. So you can use it at another project. Yeah. Wedding is not an investment. It's not a business. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. not a business. You're not waiting to earn profit. Yeah. My pastor you don't says, want to commit suicide. True. Mm -hmm. my, my, my Pastor George says that there are two times that people will only change for you, especially with the community, the community setup. It's mm -hmm. first, one, when you're sick, mm -hmm. two, yes. it's only on your wedding. Those are the only yeah. two times that people come together and actually mm -hmm. give you money. So that's a good thing. Another mm -hmm. question how, how financially stable am I supposed to be? Because you know, there's this, uh, there's this vision that I have in my mind of what I would want to give my family. Or how I want my family to look happy. Now, Pia, we always have to example. Yako, especially as a man, what is your situation when you are married? You know, such a beautiful girl like me. Not just me. This is a way we we seem to a place, a lot of place. Yeah, yani, are you comfortable? You na choma. You meto amstana uku runda. You na mpelega uku. But that not being the main point. Eh? Yes, yes. I think uh, the idea of you have to have money before you get married is yeah. a misconstrued truth. So it's just a misconception of people. Yani, unafikiria, wha, what does money have to do with it? If you're surviving alone, ata huyo mtu ana survive peke yake. They are not coming. You see, why do men think that sasa sisi tuko pale, alafu hao wana come, wakam wasaidiwe. Women are not coming to be helped by their husbands. You are coming to work together. So if you feel both of you, not the man, if you feel like we are not ready yeah. to get into marriage both of us not because your man does not have money not because let let that be the least of the reasons then you can hold and wait yeah. but money pesa inatafutwa na watu wawili pamoja wewe wewe sema eti mimi personally miss kwana do in fact i think i keep telling her yeah. that I have become a better saver now that I'm married. Yeah. I am a better steward of the money that God has given us yes. because it is not just my money. I have an accountability partner. So I feel like I'm in a better space. I feel safer even the way I spend my money. So it's not just about, you know, uh, I had money or I didn't have money. It is how we do now. How are we doing now as a couple? The money that we have, how are we, you yeah. know, uh, are spending you it together? 
How are we growing? Nice, nice. And, and, and there's, a, there's a theory, I don't know if, I, I know it's not necessarily as a theory because about the minimum that you work, where people say once you get married, there's always like a special favor that comes upon your life. Like, that really did, didn't work before. But now that you have a partner, is, uh, how, how, did you experience such a thing, Kabi? And where were you? Maybe for you, you open up, Kabi, especially after you got married. This is uh, what I believe. Yes, actually, it's it's in the word of God. It's actually not a theory, because the Bible says that he who finds the wife obtains favor from the Lord. So the favor, for me personally, I have seen it, and I believe this is it. Yeah. You see, faith, faith is what is activated in marriage. Yeah. The moment you go to God and you say, I don't have money, I don't know how I'll sustain this marriage, but I'm trusting you, God, that you're going to take us through. Yeah. Then that is the moment that you start to live in faith and yeah. God provides for your faith. Your faith will always be funded. Mimi na jua hivo. For me I've just seen the favor of God uh, working in my life. Even the YouTube channel, you know me I never thought that would happen. You know the influence, I never thought I'd have that. But yeah. after we got married I have seen really the favor yeah. of God working in my life. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really awesome. True. That's really awesome. So, mm. I mean, I mean, for the guys who are listening, you know, there's favor in marriage. There's, you know, if you, especially if you get the right partner. And is there something like a right partner by the way, Kabi? I don't want to talk about it from my end because me and two in a relationship. I'm not yet married, and I know it's a different, <laughs> it's a different dynamic once you get married. It's almost the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's almost the same. Like it's a different dynamic when there's dynamic is married. different, yeah. but you know you're the same people. So. Yeah. I mean, it's just the fact that now you, yeah, dynamic, let's say the dynamic. Uh, I mean, I feel like there is, um, they said right, I feel like there is that person that God wants to, for you to come together in marriage. Mm-hmm. So, I wouldn't say the right person, this is the right person, I don't know how to phrase it. Let's say it. the God person. But there is that person who is God ordained for you. Is yeah, it only one? Like, is it like only one out of the six? Men? I don't think it's only one. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I don't think it's yeah. only one. Because yeah. what I believe in is that yeah. love is a decision you make every day. So love is not just about a fling. I'm a, I'm a, a fairy tale kind of thing. Hey, we will do a look at wangu. No. Yeah. I believe that love is a decision. So once you get that person that you click so nicely with and you yeah. make a decision to love them and yeah. God amekua meode in your marriage, then in a kwa easy. So I think you want to mean it's love. Okay, me I think the reason why I say I don't think it's one, it's because yes. I've seen cases where probably someone has lost their spouse and then they get married, they marry again. So I don't know why you need to say one. Mm. I feel like I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but I just feel like you can yeah. always, you know, find yourself with another person. With other people. Yeah, with us. Yeah. Yeah. That's really awesome. So what would you tell what would you tell a couple that's out here? Because now you know every couple is able to find It's just you and your wife. Whether you love her or not, whether you use Kizana or not, we go stuck. <laughs> and I know Kunawa saw the watch the video. There is a couple that we watch this video. And what what's your word for, for some of the couples that you know are not having having a rough time, especially during this time? A rough time in terms of what like, like our Kizani, like this conflict or oh, okay. you know. Yeah. Um, for me, I'll tell them, we keep saying this, the best thing to do for your marriage is to center it on God. Let your foundation be God. Because if you you have someone else to run to. And you see, God is just. God is fair. God loves us. God is a friend. You know, get? So he, he he's even a better friend than even your husband, than your spouse. So you don't listen, you don't you don't agree. You just go back to God, you know. So um thank you so much for, for, for that, Kabi and and, me. and and thank you so much for the Wajesus family for just creating time when you come into the cycle podcast. This is the new coolest podcast in town right now. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, so is there any Anything you guys, what's the future for the Wajizas family for, for people like us when you go to your kitty and you back a new car? Yeah, that is my position. What's our future? <laughs> <laughs> what are the plans? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Alright, so I think first of all is um, this year we are going to be hoping that God at Kisha 1 million subscribers, that is our aim by the end of the year. So if you're watching this podcast or you're listening uh, to the podcast and you're watching this video, just go to YouTube and search the Word Jesus Family and subscribe so that you can hit this milestone, uh, which is just a number that you place by faith. Last year we prayed that God is going to get us to 100K and by the end of the year we were past it, Kidogo. Yeah. So we know that it is possible, so we just we, we put these play things in uh, by faith, yeah. by yeah. faith. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's gonna work out, yeah. man. Thank you so much and Amen. all the best. Bef- yeah. Before. I would also want to yes. add, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so we have something that is going on. Mm-hmm. We're doing 30 days of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we've been doing it from today. So mm-hmm. I don't know when you're going to be this uploading This is Monday the 6th. Uh-huh. This is Monday the 6th. So we're going to be giving thanks yeah. intentionally yeah. and putting it on our social media platforms that is instagram even youtube yeah. uh, and facebook yeah. uh, if you're watching this maybe way later mm. you can still do it it's mm. just you know challenging yourself to uh to give thanks every day intentionally yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's such a beautiful so that's what you're doing so before yeah I so we are just so what you are doing is that you post something that you're thankful to God for every day for the next 30 days. You can start today. You don't have to start with us because us uh, probably will have started a little bit earlier by the time this video is being uploaded. Yes, yes. But you can start today uh, when you're watching this video. Post on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Kila Mahali, and just you know change the atmosphere and the vibe that is around of this uh, uncertainty and hopelessness. And let's. Uh, remember to give thanks to God yeah. and use the hashtag ni Jesus hashtag the word Jesus hashtag 30 days of Thanksgiving yeah. that's such a beautiful initiative I'll actually join you I'll also post it yay we need to be yeah, grateful amazing. it's such a beautiful that's thing amazing. to be grateful to God when you're yeah. in the middle of a storm and I feel like it's yes, yes, yes. we need to be yes. happy and mm. be grateful thank you so much guys yeah, also I wouldn't mm. want to let you guys there's like a small game that I normally play with my people Mm-hmm. It's very simple. I just give you a word and you give me a song that mm-hmm. goes with the same thing. Like if I say, uh, yeah, Iseme Imani. So like, Ina Imani, Guayote, how is it? You get it. You make it okay. drift. And then, yes. Ina Masawiti. Ah, 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 it's very good to end. Like, I love you, you have very limited time. Kishindua and end up the next one. Are you ready? Okay. Mm. Ah, give me a song that, that, go, that has game. Game ya go ni twa 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 Ha kuna nothing Aya taji Ni me bi shotaji Ah nguvu Ni penguvu Aweka bile una ni enjoy wewe hakuna rek tu Sasa ni mawimbo unatunga tu hapo hapo sasa hii sasa hii Alafu baadaye tusikie uko na album Aya flower Flowers blossom. Kabila ah, ni uh, love, love. Love is a beautiful ah. thing. What Jesus? Give me what Jesus. They are Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, guys. This is so, thank you. This has been such an interesting, interesting conversation, and I'm really grateful that you guys made time. Man. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us, yes. Fanzemi. We appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. This is a big one, and, and just know that God will take you to the next level. You know, when you're doing something and it is inspirational, yeah. nice. just know that it is not for you. Yeah. So when it is not for you, then know it is not you who lift it to the next level. Yeah. It is God. Thanks. Amen. That's gonna happen. Mm. Thank you so much, man. Mm. Amen. Thank you for having us. Such. So yes, guys, that that was the Wajiz family. You know, we've had to, uh, we've got to listen to the Kapi's story, Mili's story, their marriage story, their channel story. It's so inspirational, and I've gotten to learn so much about them. You'll also uh, realize that I'm not having physical guests. That's because of the whole COVID-19 situation. You guys have to do these things at home. So I'm calling in my guests from wherever they are, and then they record themselves. I record myself. Myself. I record myself. I record myself. 
and then we upload uh, this thing on, on, on YouTube and, and podcast as well. Thank you so much for subscribing. I think we've hit almost 3,000 streams for the first podcast, and that's audio. When it comes to video, we're doing almost 35,000 views in a week. Thank you so much for that. Make sure you subscribe. This is how we make money. So if you don't subscribe, you know, it becomes a bit of a hustle. Number two, what was I, what did I want to say? Yes, let me know who you want me to have on set. It could be anyone. Don't limit yourself to a specific, it's not for YouTubers, it's not just for Christians, it's not just for content creators, it's for anyone who has just an interesting vibe, has an interesting story that they would like to share. Let me see if there's something else I'm missing. I'm always missing uh, to say important stuff. So yeah, that was it for today. Um, see you next week. I hope I'll be dropping a new episode every single Wednesday before the lockdown, if the lockdown hasn't already happened by now. So subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for showing love. I appreciate you. This is the Psycho Podcast. Thanks.